Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am on the Great Carrier Reef because you may or may not remember if you were uh, present at the video that I made where I posted about 2.2.2 I think it was called, where they added these, among other things, uh, and I said that this bit fits pretty well with this bit. Okay, so today, as a result of this revelation, I want to see if I can make, like, a hybrid uh, plane slash submarine kind of thing, where I take this setup right here, and I go, okay, let's stick on the front of a plane give the plane a submersible seat and then suddenly I have a perfect thing that can just go above the water and below the water without any issues so that's what I'm gonna do today I don't know if it's gonna go well at all um, but I'm gonna try and we'll see how it goes Now, technically, this is already good enough to fly, hopefully. Not very well, but hopefully it'll fly. Oh, it's very, it's very strange. It is extremely strange, but it's flying. It's very floaty. It's, that's probably due to the fact that all of the weight is at the very front uh but that's okay let's dip it into the water see if the um oh yes oh yes it's seamless it is actually seamless and then we can immediately just get going again because the props are so far forward oh that's so good that is so good I'm genuinely chuffed with this already, and I'm not even close to being done yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't get excited yet. I still need to make sure that when I add the rest of the body, it'll still do the things that I want it to do, like uh, fly and look good and other things like that. I'm not gonna lie, I think I genuinely expected that to be a little bit more difficult than that. And that should be all. Now let's see if it... Uh, hello? Oh yeah, okay. Um, that might be an issue. It would appear as though we have become slightly heavier than I would have liked. This is a problem. How do I stop that from happening? I have a fantastic idea. All right, let's see if this works. We're going, which is a good start. All right, here we go. So the lift is very, very far forward. Too far forward, perhaps. Uh, but we're flying, so that is a good start. Now let's go underwater. Yeah, we're also nosing up under the water as well, so I want to go ahead and... Okay, this seems good. Alright, and we are going. We are falling. I do not have enough lift. Okay. 
All right, let's see if these flaps are enough to keep us flying straight now. Okay, it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much, but we can just turn down the angle. Yes, I like that. And we can see the throttle from inside the cockpit as well. Look at that. Yeah, they weren't lying. This thing is really good for playing cockpits. I should use this more. Uh, but there you have it. We're flying. And we can go under the sea. I think what I want to do is definitely add some lights of some sort. Now I can see under the sea. It flies relatively straight. The angle of attack is very aggressive, uh, but I think I think I'm done. All I need to do now is give it a lick of paint, and then then we can do some cool things with it. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, see you then. Okay, so it's it's not a conventional paint job by any means, and it's not something that, that you would typically see me do with a plane, uh, but it has been painted, and it flies, and I think it looks alright, so I think that is good enough for me to consider this one finished. I think all that's left to do now is do some cool stuff i don't know what that means yet uh but we're about we'll, i think i think we'll find out soon enough but in any case that'll be it for this video i sincerely hope you enjoyed if you did consider leaving a like and perhaps even subscribing it's free and it helps me out a ton but as far as this video is concerned that'll be it from me my name is Utify, and this has been the making of a very unconventional seaplane i'll see you all again in the next one but until then a goodbye all right now we go over to the other maps for stuff i don't know what yet
Thank you.